Attention, Commander. The Red Locust faction, under the leadership of Saja Kalishnikov, has developed new technology in the form of an airborne battleship. Whoever wields this technology could rule the world map and the skies, so push back the Red Locust incursion like your life depends on it. In Operation Red Storm, gaining control of a Spire will also reward you with a set amount of XP, in addition to providing you with an overall XP bonus modifier. The Red Locust have stripped some of the Spire's defenses, making them much more appealing targets. One of the new prizes available is the Warhawk Schematic. This will allow you to customize and upgrade your Warhawks in the workshop. Some of the notable components available include the Spectre Cannon, which can increase the damage done to buildings, the Optic Steroid, which increases the maximum weapons range, and Aircraft Targeting, which grants the ability to target and shoot enemy aircraft. There's also a piece of epic tech for the Warhawk that you can unlock by beating Wave 72. The Wingman component will give each equipped Warhawk an aerodrome, which can target ground and air units to fight alongside the aircraft. This component will greatly increase the amount of damage dealt by your Warhawks. Finally, you can redeem your XP to earn the mother of all devastating aircraft, the Titan. This flying fortress showers the battlefield with volley after volley of missiles, dealing massive damage in a huge blast radius. The Titan is also capable of launching drones to support the battle against both ground and air units. And with the small amount of capacity required to fit in your aircraft platoon, the Titan is an excellent partner for the Spectre aircraft. You can only have one Titan in your armada, but the last thing your enemies will see is its shadow foretelling death. Operation Red Storm begins Thursday, January 23rd and ends Wednesday, January 29th. Good luck, Commander!